the the main event i've saved this for last because i wanted to get some other things off my chest and also because everybody is going to think we're making this up because it's it sounds like something you would make up but i promise you folks just like when when the idiot of course we're all referring to let's speak the name vince russo just don't say it three times but just like when Vince Russo said that that he could not vote for Hillary Clinton for president because woman was created from man's rib, and I swear <laughs> I'm not making this up either, folks. He said this and meant it. Woman was created from man's rib, and therefore they could not they should not be leaders because they were in a secondary position because they came afterwards, ignoring the fact that it's a simple biological fact that there had to be a woman first to give birth to anything unless i don't know russo's an asshole baby that probably explains that but anyway guess what he said this just this last week <laughs> i'm not even going to i'm not even going to paraphrase it i'm going to read and and folks trust me when i say this he's not saying this to get a stir or a reaction out of people this is the kind of shit that he really believes and i think and also, he's so mad that after all these years, people are finally smartening up to him and figuring him out and realizing that everything that I've said and so many people have said about him is true, that he's full of shit, been full of shit all along, that, 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 that he has lost it somehow and he's gone off the fucking rails. But this kind of shit is the shit that you have to listen to when you talk to this stupid motherfucker or when you deal with him. And it's the level of stupidity that will make your fucking head explode. And also, he's mad now because since all the people, the only success he ever had in anything was a two-year period in the wrestling business when he had Vince McMahon and the greatest announcer of all time and a network-quality television production facility and the two biggest stars in the history of wrestling, Steve Austin and The Rock, at the same time. And, I mean, you know, good God, you could take a fucking chimpanzee and sit him down at a typewriter with, with ammunition like that, and he'd probably turn into one of the better writers. But he he's mad now because people have figured this out, and he just, I think he's gone insane. So anyway, this was reported on the latest episode of his podcast. Yes, he, he does one from a, it is funny, he does it from what looks like a closet since he accuses people of being in the closet. Uh, But my bathroom is bigger than his office here at the castle. But Vince Russo, on the latest episode of one of his podcasts, claimed that if the Marks and the Dirt Sheet crowd like certain wrestlers as much as they do, then they must be gay, or at least somewhere beyond exclusively heterosexual. Um, He said the, the writers of a couple of major wrestling sites, because, and we know he's talking about Mike Johnson at PW Insider, because... Mike Johnson, every time that Russo gets caught doing something stupid or lying about something, Mike Johnson has the evidence and reports that Russo was lying about something. As a matter of fact, Russo emailed Mike Johnson the evidence himself one time because Russo can't figure out how to work that newfangled email thing, and he keeps emailing the wrong people. <laughs> and, he, and he doesn't like Dave Meltzer, and he doesn't like basically all the people that tell other people how full of shit he is. And he tries to discredit him. Sort of sounds like Donald Trump, who he apparently voted for. Uh, So Russo said, they all look like losers about the dirt sheet writers. They all look like marks. And this, this is verbatim. Russo claimed he has no problem with the gay community saying, bro, whatever floats your boat, who cares? It's not up to me to judge you. I've worked with gay wrestlers. I could care less. With that being said... I'm looking at these kind of individuals and I'm looking at reactions to other men. That's what we're talking about here. The way they react to Kevin Owens, the way they react to Sami Zayn, the way they react to Samoa Joe and Finn Balor, their reactions to other men. I just watched the Giants game. I'm not whacking myself off when Buster Posey comes to the plate. I'm not taking it out and playing with it. And I love Buster Posey, but I love him in the sense that he's on my team and I want them to win. But I don't start chanting, this is awesome, when he steps up to the plate. It's not a normal reaction for men to react to other men in that way. It's not a normal reaction. Russo added, I'm sorry if you hear cackling. Stacy has just walked in the room, and she has not heard this. And she cannot, con- she's stuffing a, 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 a sweatshirt in her mouth. And so is she. Anyway, Russo added, so I've come to the conclusion, if you're part of the NXT crowd, 
the people who were in Orlando, the this is awesome crowd, you fall in three categories. It's this simple, bro. You're either A, homosexual. Okay, you like men. For you to react this way, you have to like men. B, you're either not homosexual but have homosexual tendencies, or C, you're in the closet. It's that simple, bro, because men do not react to other men that way. It's not a normal function, bro. I had someone tweet me after I made a tweet that Finn Balor has to hit the gym. Bro, I literally had a guy send me a picture of Finn Balor with his shirt off. Bro, you are probably a homosexual. If you are searching the internet for pictures of Finn Balor without his shirt on and taking the time to send it to me, you fall in one of these categories. Let me just let all that sink in for just a second. Let's do, 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 do. Okay, first of all, it ain't hard to find a picture of a professional wrestler on the internet without a shirt on. Secondly, if you question his physical fitness, and that's like me questioning somebody's physical fitness, because if you've noticed, that's something I don't do, because I got no room to talk there. If you question the guy's physical fitness and somebody responds by sending you a picture of the guy who looks in much better physical shape than you have ever been in your sorry, misfucking informed life, then I think that's an accurate response. And lastly, but not even lastly, we're going to talk about this for a minute. But lastly on this, yes, the guy took time to send it to you to tell you, Vince Russo, you fucking piece of shit, that you're an idiot. Just like everybody now is figuring out you're an idiot. The things you say. Remember when I said it used to drive me crazy to be in the room with this motherfucker and I would leave with a twitch? This kind of shit's why. And he wasn't even religious then. And it still would drive you insane to listen to the fucking verbal effluvia and the stream, the literal river. The, the, the goddamn waterfall of ignorance that comes out of his mouth about every subject. And now he's mad. I've criticized the this is awesome crowd for thinking that things are awesome that don't necessarily draw money and aren't really awesome. But I never said they were gay. I just said they ought to be a little bit smarter about the wrestling business. I'm... I, the, the very business, the, the only success that he has ever had in his miserable life, he failed at running a video store. He obviously failed, even though he said he went to school for journalism. He obviously failed at journalism because he can't even spell. He failed at running his first website because he tried to fucking cheat the guy that was actually doing all the work, and that fell apart. You remember that? He's failed at every wrestling venture he's ever had in the last 25 years, except for that two-year period with all those advantages. He is a failure at life and a failure as a human being, and now he is mad He's mad at the people who have come to the conclusion that, yes, he's a fucking failure and he doesn't have a goddamn clue what he's talking about. So his way to insult them is calling them all gay when he's been in the same business that they supposedly love and that they do love and that he should have loved because that's the business he was in. And that's the only thing that's ever given him any measure of success whatsoever is wrestling. And now everybody that likes wrestling is apparently gay, which in his mind equates to bad. He, you know what his problem is? Women don't want to fuck him, and no, and no guy would want to suck his dick. That's what his problem is. I'm waiting for the goddamn picture of Vince Russo with a blow-up sheep, because even a self-respecting living sheep would not want Vince Russo to fuck it. Does this mean, if this is truly what he believes... Does that mean all these years he's been writing wrestling, he's been actually writing homoerotic fiction? Apparently, and not even good homoerotic fiction. And wh and may does this, maybe is this why that he always, every time he was in charge of a women's division, they were skanks and hoes and strippers and they fucking had their tits flopping out and etc. Because that's what he thinks of women. <laughs> is that why is that why he was so fixated on Sable and her white cotton panties that I used to have to sit and listen to all the time? Can you imagine her in white cotton panties? No, if you want to trip my trigger, um, for one thing, Sable wouldn't do it. But if you put somebody hot like Sonny or somebody of, of that era that was really hot in some goddamn black leather and some fucking spandex and some goddamn fishnets and some crotchless stuff, I'm right there with you. But white cotton panties? What the fuck's the matter with you? Are you fixated on your grandmother or your grandfather? <laughs> so this motherfucker legitimately says this shit, and he and I'm telling you, 
from knowing him. And since I've been right about everything else and it's come to light over the past several years, I'm right about this. He's not just saying this shit to stir people up and get people to listen. He really believes this shit. He really does, folks. He really believes that a woman was created from a man's rib. He really believes that if you chant, this is awesome at a wrestling match, you're gay. And he also really believes that the shit that he did actually was good. <laughs> and and now that everybody knows that it wasn't and, it, and that the success that happened while he was around for that two-year period was due to, oh, I don't know, talented people that were overcoming the fucking uh, anchors that he was putting around their neck. <sighs> He's, he just, he's, help me, help me, help me try to understand any of this. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what there is to say in, in 2017, when you label everyone who you don't like as being homosexual, as some sort of verbal punishment that says more about you than it does about them. And uh, I'm just, and, and, and how, how do you make that leap? Fans have chanted at, at wrestling matches. My problem with the chance <laughs> to be quite honest with you is when I was a kid and I was going to the matches as a fan, people would chant for Jerry Jarrett, go Jerry, go, or the rock and roll. They chant rock and roll, rock and roll or whatever cheering for the baby face. I hate it when the fans cheer and chant for the heel because that fucks up the whole psychology of the match and it's harder on the performers except well now it's not because they just have video game matches in a lot of cases but we back when we were trying to be baby faces and heels it fucked up the whole match when the people cheered they you should have been some of the matches the, the Midnight Express couldn't even turn heel with the it, it, as good as they were when they were in the ring with the dynamic dudes cuz people hated the dudes so bad and it fucked up the match because you, you the the shit that you would do was was not getting the proper response. So yes, I have in some cases taking people to task for saying chanting things that that you know just didn't make a lot of sense, but that doesn't mean they're gay. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. If they, I'm sure there's gay people and straight people and everybody chanting this is awesome. And if it really is awesome, then why the fuck shouldn't they be allowed to chant that? They paid their money. I think it's it's somewhat liberally applied these days, but on occasion there are things that are really awesome. And when you chant that, you're not gay. There's nothing wrong with it if you are, because it has no bearing on this. And and you know if if you're if you're you know, if, if but here's the thing: he's religious. He's a religious conservative. Tell me who is responsible for more homosexual pedophilia than Catholic priests, re religious people of, of, of that ilk and conservative Republican politicians. I, I, you know, by the way, the quote you read left out the first line of what he wrote, which was look at a picture of Mike Johnson. Look at a picture of Dave Shearer. Look at a picture of Dave Meltzer. There's a trend here. They all look like losers. Okay, see, that was not in the in yeah. the report that I was so well. Yes, yeah, he's he's saying that because imagine that those are the exact people who every as my aunt Lola used to say, everything you do gets blamed right on you. They're the people who tell folks when Russo lies or when he fucks something up or when he's completely full of shit or says something insane like this. They are reporters. They are journalists. They, they disseminate news, news, Vincenzo. And that's why you don't like him because everything he does gets blamed right on him. So anyway, so now, you know, if you're a wrestling fan and I've never known this and, and it's going to come as a, as a, as a shock, I guess, to Stacy that we're going to have to get divorced now because I'm playing for the other team. And, 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 and Brian, I never knew this about you. Suzanne is going to be upset. Yeah. <laughs> but if, well, maybe she won't be, who knows? You never know about that. <laughs> but if, if you like wrestling folks and you're a guy, you're gay. And if you chant, this is awesome. Or if you read or write newsletters, you're gay. According to Vince Shitstein Russo, the archbishop of talent, Barry, who has, has <laughs> delivered the sermon on the Mount. I guess he got this on a tablet from Moses. 
who was impersonated by Mel Brooks famously one time. And there were originally 15 commandments, but he dropped one. I have these 15, I mean, 10 commandments. One of them is if you chant, this is awesome at NXT, <laughs> you like to suck cock. Who, who was the wrestler he pointed out wasn't in shape? Finn Balor. Finn Balor is not in shape, bro. Here's a picture. He is in shape. You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, six? He, no wonder he lived in Colorado. He ought to be on South Park, Vince Russo. And, and then I just heard, I heard Colorado kicked him out. Evansville, Indiana took him. If they wanted to give the state of Indiana a fucking enema, they'd stick the nozzle in Evansville. So I guess that's last. It's his last sanctuary before he gets booted out to a fucking island somewhere in the fucking Pacific. <laughs>